Hey guys, it's General Heed here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, I've got a really special treat for you guys, and that is we're going to be taking a look at a certain version or a build of the Halo Mega Box game. That's right, the cancelled and unreleased Halo Mega Box game that you might have heard of um, a couple years ago. It was um, it was a game worked on a company by uh, called Endspace, uh, and it was... The game actually uh, turned up, it looked pretty good, and it was, um, it had, it made pretty good progress, but the game was cancelled, unfortunately, and, uh, unfortunately, it was never released at all, and I, I know, like, one YouTuber out there, he has, like, a build of it, and just, like, a video of the full Halo Mega Bloks build, and unfortunately, uh, I don't think anybody else has it, but there is another build out there, this build, this build is, uh, it's actually called Backyard Heroes. It's another cancelled game. But I believe this game, this version was a later build after the full Mega Bloks game for Halo. And the reason why I believe that is because, as you can see, there's not too much Halo stuff left in this build. Uh, most of it, I have to spawn in using console commands um, with a keyboard. Uh, and all that remains in this game is a bunch of like Halo vehicles and weapons. Which uh, makes me think that this game, this cancelled game called Backyard Heroes, is basically like a reskin of the cancelled Halo Mega Box game. I guess, <laughs> I guess every game based on Halo Mega Box <laughs> was, you know, destined not never to be released. But uh, anyways, so for this video, we're gonna be taking a look at this particular build, which is technically more Backyard Heroes than Halo, but a lot of the Halo stuff from the Mega Box game is still in here. So. We'll be taking a look at what those things are like. So we'll start with the vehicles. And as you can hardly see, uh, vehicle controls are very janky in this game. And the mongoose already gets like easily stuck. So we're going to quickly move on to another vehicle, the ghost. The ghost actually works really well in this game. And uh, as you can see, it's it handles pretty similar to uh, you know the <laughs> ghost from full Halo games. You can even boost with this ghost too. Now overall, this game's vehicle controls for every vehicle are extremely like unintuitive, like the worst vehicle controls I've ever uh, experienced. <laughs> they are so janky, like literally you would think that like <laughs> you use the left stick to control the ghost, just like how you walk and just like how in the uh, other Halo games. But no, <laughs> the left stick is to look around in the direction you want to go and the A button is to accelerate, and the B button is to reverse, and the right stick doesn't do anything. Uh, and then the boost button is like the left bumper, I think. It's the most unintuitive control ever, and quite frankly, like it's it just doesn't feel right for like any vehicle controls. I've never like played a game with such weird vehicle controls. Even like old games like GoldenEye 64, <laughs> like that game, like we all know like how those controls don't hold up well at all compared to modern games, but even that game I feel like had better vehicle controls than this. But you know, after like messing around for a while, you do kind of get used to these controls, but you know, they're, they're still not ideal. But anyways, moving on to the next vehicle, the Warthog. The Warthog, it handles okay. It's, um, it, as you can see, it, its physics are a little bit weird sometimes. But it's it otherwise is okay, and you know you, you, it, it has all the other features of like a regular warthog from a regular Halo game, such as um, you can honk the horn, you can get on the turret, you can fire the turret, and the turret's actually uh, it's a pretty cool weapon, but the shots are pretty slow, so it's not it's not as effective as an actual uh, warthog turret from a newer from an actual Halo game. Um, but stuff in the turret, you can also get in the passenger seat, but I guess the passenger seat was never finished. So when you ride in it, it, it it's like a second driver's seat, but without actual like driving controls. As you can see, like my character here is trying to hold, is trying to like hold a steering wheel in the passenger seat. You can't shoot or anything in it. So that is the Warthog. Next vehicle here, it's another UNSC vehicle. It's a very interesting one. It uh, it's called a VTOL, vertical takeoff. Uh, and landing vehicle, but 
it's definitely a UNSC vehicle, but I've never seen a UNSC vehicle like this before. I think, actually, you know, I think, I think like Halo Spartan Assault or Spartan, I think it was Spartan Strike that had a similar vehicle, but I don't think it's the exact same. I'm not sure. I haven't really played Spartan Strike that much. Uh, but for those of you who have played Spartan Strike, or maybe it's a Halo Wars vehicle, I'm not sure. But either way, this UNSC VTOL, uh, it's it's a pretty interesting vehicle, and it, it's pretty much it's pretty much like a ghost, actually. And I guess functionally, it really would it, w it would be similar to one, but it's it's an interesting vehicle, and it's uh, it, it's one that I've never seen before, or if I have, it's from a game that I haven't played much or for a while. But if you do recognize it, feel free to uh, post in the comments what it is, or at least what it might be similar to. Now, the next vehicle we're going to get to is the Scorpion Tank. This vehicle uh, is, well, it's the Scorpion. Um, I don't think you can like get in a machine gun turret of it. Uh, at least I didn't have a prompt to. And it's not like the Halo 1 and Halo 2 Scorpion, where you can also fire the machine gun turret separately. So I think the Scorpion Tank is literally just the tank part of it. No machine gun turret. Uh, I don't even think there's a turret on it. But uh, shooting the cannons also pretty hard. I wasn't quite sure how to aiming it up and down was. I, I don't know. I couldn't quite aim it up and down. It was kind of pointed up the entire time, and neither the right stick or the left stick pointed it down. So I'm not sure of like some of the controls I was missing. Um, but yeah, it's that's the Scorpion tank. And the last vehicle we're going to be taking a look at is the Wraith. Uh, this vehicle seems a lot, a lot less complete than the others. Which, you know, it might also mean that this build might have come before the Halo Mega Bloks build. And the uh, Halo Mega Bloks is actually a reskin of Backyard Heroes. But I, I can't confirm either one. I'm not sure like which one is which one came first. Because like a lot of the Halo stuff in this game is also like pretty incomplete, which it, it could have been like the Backyard Heroes game and they added some Halo stuff into it as like a early version of it as they continue to reskin the rest of the game. But I'm not sure. But I, I really suspect that Halo Mega Bloks came first and then this game is a reskin of that. But like I said, I can't really confirm that um, for a fact. Uh, but the Wraith is pretty... Uh, very incomplete. As you can see, even like its uh, model and everything, it's not as like detailed as the other ones. And the camera is all like really weird, and the physics and driving it's all really janky overall. But yeah, so that's all the vehicles. Now let's move on to the weapons. So to spawn weapons in a game, you have to use the console to spawn them. The vehicles also need to, need to be spawned with the console commands, but I spawn them ahead of time just because the vehicles don't despawn. So I could, you know, save a lot of time and have all the vehicles in place. But the weapons, as you can see here, we just need to bring up the the console, type in give weapon, and well, let's pick a weapon. Let's start with the shotgun. The sh some weapons in this game they are reskinned already, so they won't be like the Halo weapons. But uh, some Halo weapons still remain in this build, like the shotgun. That is definitely uh, the UNSC shotgun from Halo. Uh, I'm not sure if it's like which Halo game it's closer to, like which, I guess which art style you could say the weapons are. Because some of the vehicles in this, I would say they're closer, they're more like classic art style, while others are kind of like newer art style. But it, it's hard to tell. It, it's really like its own art style overall. Uh, but yeah, so the next weapon will be spawning. And don't worry, I'm not going to show the console like every time we spawn a weapon. I'm just giving you guys an idea of like <laughs> what has to be done to spawn a weapon. But after the shotgun, let's try the battle rifle now. A very uh, classic Halo weapon for sure. Now this battle rifle, you could definitely tell it's a battle rifle, but it does look a little weirder than a regular battle rifle. Like the barrel is like long. It's almost like it has a silencer for the battle rifle. But it's a three burst shot weapon and yeah. I'm not sure like if any weapon actually does more damage than the other. The UNSC weapons, they all seem to fire the same kind of projectile. Um, like the exact same. The bullets all look the same size and everything. Uh, but I can't really tell if they do more damage or not. It seems just to be like the number that's fired out. Or like the range. Not the range. The uh, the quantity or the burst or stuff like that. But 
Other than that, yeah. Um, oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, like, sound effects. Some weapons do have sound effects, just like the vehicles, uh, but not all of them do. So, it, it's... Like I said, it, it's very incomplete, meaning it, either it's early in development for a Halo Mega Bloks game, or it's in the process of being reskinned and removing the Halo assets. But, not not sure which one. But anyways, the next weapon we'll be taking a look at is the Saw from Halo 4 and 5. Uh, it's pretty much the, uh, it's really powerful actually in this game too, but only because like it fires like so many rounds at once, uh, and each round seems to do quite a bit of damage. But other than that, it's, like I said, the shots all look pretty similar. <laughs> so after the saw, this is technically the assault rifle, but in the game it's already been um, reskinned to be that version, and it's called a machine gun in the game too. So, we'll be breezing past that because it's not really Halo anymore. But, the grenade launcher is still in this game. And this is pretty much like the uh, the Halo Reach grenade launcher. Uh, it, it's very similar. Only, only the uh, the thing is, like the grenades you fire, they don't explode on impact or right away either. They have a, quite a delay before they explode and they bounce a lot, around a lot too. And it, it's not like what you think either. It, it's They're not bouncing around in delayed explosion because I'm holding down the trigger or anything to EMP. That feature doesn't, doesn't exist at all. It's literally, you just fire the grenade and that's it. And that's what happens. So it's it, it's similar to the Reach grenade launcher, but it's feature-wise, it's pretty far far from it. So next, this is where like the classic art style comes back in. <laughs> that is definitely the classic Spanker rocket launcher. And yes, it's pronounced Spanker. I've <laughs> debated this with several people several times. It is not Spunker or Spanuker or anything like that. It's definitely the Spanker rocket launcher. So deal with it. Get it right. <laughs> um, but yeah, so as you can see, when you it, it's appearance-wise, it's the same as the Spanker rocket launcher. But for some reason, it fires shots like in a, in like curves and arcs. Um, and yeah. Now, next weapon here, this is definitely a crossbow, but this is actually what's left of the Covenant Carbine in this game. And, you know, you can definitely tell by the projectiles that it it, it pretty much is like a uh, carbine, but it is now a crossbow. Or maybe it was a crossbow and was meant to become the carbine. Once again, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I'll be showing you, like, at least... If I spawn like a Covenant weapon or a certain weapon without the uh, original model anymore, what it's like. Right, what you see here now, this is the Needler, <laughs> or what's supposed to be the Needler. And then this one here is the Plasma Pistol. The projectiles definitely still look like Plasma Pistol bolts. Um, you could still, you know, fire them, and it even overheats if you fire too many too quickly. See right there? It overheats. And... You, which means you could also charge it up too, just like the plasma pistol. Um, but uh, it does not have any EMP effects at all. But uh, see, so, so like, I don't, I don't really know. Like, I I really want to tell you guys like which came first. But like this like staff, like this magic staff or wand. It it definitely like looks natural. Like doesn't like feel like it's like reskinned. So. I don't know, Plasma Pistol could be... It could really go either way, like, it honestly fits pretty well. <laughs> but anyways, the last weapon we'll be taking a look at is the Energy Sword, or what's left of it, or what's supposed to become it, eventually. Um, I mean, it, it still kind of looks like the Energy Sword, similar shape. But obviously it's not an energy weapon, it's like a metal sword now. But it's uh, definitely the Energy Sword still, as far as the uh, game files is concerned. And it has a pretty interesting, like, lunge to it. You can basically sword fly as well with this. You just charge up the sword and then release it, and you do, like, an extended lunge and then swing. Or sword fly, <laughs> since, you know, since we're talking Halo here, it's pretty much, uh, you can consider it sword flying. But other than that, the sword, it is a good weapon. It is a melee weapon, and I will spawn enemies in, in a little bit so that we can show you guys a little bit of gameplay with some of these vehicles and weapons against uh, actual enemies. But for the moment, uh, that's basically all the weapons and vehicles that we can spawn and show you guys in the game. 
there are more things like for example uh, there are references to banshees and phantoms and like gauss hogs but I can't none of those will spawn in like nothing happens to try to spawn them as for the enemies um, the game definitely has its own enemies already too like really this is it's like a pretty like well into development actually as far as I can tell but as you can see it's not optimized yet when there's a lot of enemies and I don't mean like a lot I mean like just a few enemies the frame rate already drops quite a bit um, and it's gonna get pretty bad too when I start killing them like all the effects and like particles and stuff or debris, those definitely uh, slow the frame rate down quite a bit um, but as for uh, the AIs you may be wondering like if there's still like any UNSC or Covenant AIs in the game. That I am not entirely positive about as far as like a lot of them go. But I know like some of them like runts are kind of in the game. And I'll get to them in a second. Uh, but these like larger enemies I'm not quite sure they're based on any um, Halo AIs at all. Um, so I'm just going to give you guys a quick look at them. But let's move on to the grunts now. So, in this game, the grunts are actually like these little goblins. They um, they have similar sounds to the grunts, like similar like dialogue, so to speak, or sound effects. But they're also different at the same time. So I'm not sure if they're reusing grunt sound effects or not. But their behavior is definitely like grunts. Like you have like some of them that are like infantry. You know, they just go for it and shoot. And you had the suicide grunts right there. They even have like the same like suicide grunt animations. You know, they hold like two grenades and they just like charge at you, flailing the grenades around in the air. So these little goblins are definitely based on grunts. And there, there's a reason why I think the game Backyard Heroes is a reskin of Halo Mega Bloks. Because because of those suicide grunt animations. Like why also they have those animations? Like I'm pretty sure like that's Pretty well, unique to Halo. Should, but, I guess it wasn't but yeah, so that's basically uh, all there is to this. Um, this is like a little look at the main menu real quick. That's Backyard Heroes. That's the logo. And that's what this game is. Uh, that's what this game is supposed to be. But just, like I said, this build, it's not the full Mega Bloks build. And, you know, I, it'd be great if that was available or to play or take a look at it or do an analysis of. I'm just one YouTuber that has an analysis of it if you want to take a look at it. But this build, uh, still contains some leftovers from that build but yeah so hopefully you guys did find this to be interesting uh this little uh, analysis and showcase uh, and if you did make sure to leave a like and actually if you'd like to see more let me know in the comments um i might even do like a live stream of it eventually if there's enough interest for it uh but you know just let me know your feedback in the comments and suggestions and i'll definitely like look into it but other than that make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all next time Bye, guys.